What's going, homie squad? It's your boy, homie Ziggy. We back here with another music mayhem episode, man. And hey, we just got five songs today and such. Hope y'all enjoying y'all day and such. Make sure y'all watching all the way through these videos and such because I realize I'm checking out my analytics. That's a hard word for me to even say. But I've been checking it out. Look, man, it's basically like this. Even though the views are doing good from most of the time and such, y'all need to watch all the way through, man. Give me them watch times. It's basically like this. The same way how for any reaction I do and such, and if y'all go check them out and such, y'all give them watch time, give me watch time too. I'm trying to entertain y'all too as much as I can. So help, help me out. But either way, like I say, we got five songs to react to and such, so we just gonna go straight right into it. So we got a Amara Uchiha rap, Come Test the God, with Omega Red featuring 954. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Shout out to Black Diamonds on the edit. From Test the God. What you got? Madara, I can throw hands with a whole damn scene. If we rap beef a beat, I beat everyone. I'm throwing hands with your whole damn crew by myself on my team. I don't even need to see a veteran. Don't need to see him to sever him. Cleave him and peace him and pack him. Cook like a chef for some fight like a god bringing death to him. Gun by whip him like Jefferson. Ten guys shit say rocks on my wrist. How this comments my hands got in drama to drop. Dance with a monster, y'all just got Madara Mosh and I slap a bomb on him and pop. You been trying to fight and I've been trying to kill. This is Kagi Bunch and multiplying still. Standing higher than I'm like Jariah still. Send their ass to Zion like Mar and hide than dry is still oh damn damn hold up kill this is kagi bunch and multiplying still standing higher than i'm like dry still send they ass to zion like mariah mill rambling you want to dance with a god panicking you understand in the eyes anakin i hit your man with a child damaging kage is father to moi kage is not even obstacles dead uchi abasa go right to his head sorcery they only talk on the threads boss me honestly watch what you try you're saying they won't action but i can't tell talking all that rah rah like i ain't been through hell i got infinite connections in my client and hey it's been a while since i've reacted to Omega Red and Ty Weezy, both their songs on their channel. Shout out, and it is a good, and it's basically like this. I know this isn't recent and such, but they've been, they changed their name. So, hey, shout out to Astro Fusion and such. Make sure y'all go check them out too, man, because like I said, it's my fault. Look, y'all, it's my fault that most of the times when it comes to the music, I don't be catching them as much as I can. So, honestly, hey, like I said, my fault. I got infinite connections in my clientele. I got infinite perspectives, all of them gon' kill. Come test the god. Come test the god. Come test the god. Come test the god. Nigga, you sound like Dizzy. You sound like Dizzy Eight right here. What the heck? You sure this isn't Dizzy Eight song? Cause he sounds Omega Red. You sound just like Dizzy Eight. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, this type of rap flow right here, this is definitely like Dizzy 8 type rap flowing right here. Hold up, I know Omega Ray that I know he has his distinct voice and such, but I'm just saying the way how he's put these words together and such. This is like a dizzy eight type of rapping right here. I'm not gonna lie to you. Or not even dizzy eight. Much less, much more mix Williams than dizzy eight. Honestly. Like right here. 
Twitter niggas tryna be equal in the mausoleum The prison king we ball shit is uneven The legendary pseudo homie nigga Suki on me Drip I remember those sleeping on me They was creeping on me TLC Then use my old flow TLC I prefer nose goes if I unload on you Pinocchio These niggas puppeteer the puppeteer There's no list to show the depth of the garbage I tend to eat what you said, nigga, about the puppet? What he said about Peter? I can't even talk. Pinocchio. <laughs> I prefer nose goes if I unload. If I, I prefer nose goes if I unload on you, Pinocchios. Where's it? I need to put. Motherfucker. Sorry for cursing and such, but god damn it. And it starts with it. Nigga. Nigga to the earth. What the? Hey, hey. Nah, then. Hey, make, like I say, make sure y'all go check him out and such. Astro Fusion, make sure y'all go check him out. But god damn it, I gotta say this. If Madara, uh, all I'm gonna say is this. If you wanted to have that Madara like energy, that Black Force energy, and you want to put it into a song for Madara, this is one of them. This is definitely one of them. Shout out to Omega Red and shout out to Mari and such, because he already know it. Mari, has Mari ever made a. Madara one yet? I don't think so. Mari, if you see this, my nigga, if you, because I'm pretty sure from the many songs I've heard from you, from reacting to listening on my own time, I'm pretty sure you haven't made a Madara one yet. If you have, then never mind me saying this. But if you haven't, make a Madara, nigga, I know, nigga, because you've made a, you've made the Upper Moon one. Recent and just recent, you made the Gabi Maru one. All I'm saying, if you like, I said, if you haven't, make a moderate, make a moderate one. That's all I'm saying. But either way, shout out to these two, they did their thing. Now we on to the next one. Shout out to Callan B, you know, Otaku on the world in this with a Demon Slayer rap water featuring Reese and Tsuyo. Ooh. Oh, nah, nah, nah. You already know when it comes to the hook game, you gotta have the Reese on it. Especially with the way how this beat sounds. Nah. It, Cause trust me, if you put Reese on a hook, especially on beats like this, it's gonna slap. Like, this is how the beat came in just. She's my blade, you don't want no problems. I'm gonna spill your blood, spill your blood like water. Ooh. You may be a demon, but to me, you ain't no problem. Mm -mm. Put some metal to your neck, there ain't no way outside. Mm. Oh, she's my blade, you don't want no problems. I'm gonna spill your blood, spill your blood like water. Ooh. You may be a demon, but to me, you ain't no problem. Yeah, this shit flows like water. <laughs> I feel the drip when I'm off of the solvent. I have some demons put them in a coffin. I am now only with nothing but bosses. So all of this drama is making my head hurt. Mm. Work. Taking this panel is making my chest hurt. Mm. The end of my best work. Yeah. Oh, you know that the stronger I get. Shop in a pen, now I'm taking off. Hands. Uh -uh. Hang by a thread, but I beg on success. We're only uh -huh. best paying respect. Hey. No threat, no. I would rather die trying and dead broke. My mm. baby do it. Ooh. Shout out to that pick. I'm, I know this is a reach, but that's like a 50%, 50 cent bar right there and such. But hold up, you already know. Callum B, the Bob Marley mother sucker. <laughs> now nah, let me shut up. But nah, you already know Callum B, I rock with the guy heavily. Because I, I call him Mr. Groovy. Mr. Groovy. 
of otaku on the world. So hold up. Let's get low though. You know that the stronger I get Shopping up and up taking off heads Hey I'm dead but I beg on success Will the chair best pair of respect You ain't no threat no I would rather die trying in dead broke My baby do it just cause I said so I'm moving life through it so let's go Waiting I make a splash when I wave here So I'm breathing this on the bathing Out of my box I'm leaving it vacant See demons out there and I'm slaying They would do anything to be famous Never know who really is shady Or who Try to be true. Oh, she's my blade. You don't want no problem. I'm gonna spill your blood. Spill my water. Don't make me a demon, but to me, you ain't a problem. Put some metal on your neck. Stop him. Ah, she's my blade. Bro, Reese has the. When it. Bro, not a lot of people. It's basically this. Not a lot of artists can be able to land a hook perfectly, right? Not just nerdcore, not just just artists in general. Not a lot of artists can know how to land a hook perfectly on a chord, or basically know how to learn learn land a hook perfectly, where it's just the right type of flow. It's sauce. It can be saucy. It can be, whether it's saucy, hard, or whatever. Imagine how the beat is. Not a lot of rappers can. Not a lot of rappers or artists in general just can do it. But sometimes when you find the right person who can do it, I guarantee you it's gonna be a pop. And Reese, god damn it, this one thing with Reese, he will know how to land a hook perfectly. Cause god damn it this hook. Ooh. I'm gonna spill your blood, spill your blood and water. No problem. Put some metal to your what you got? Ooh. I'm a fire. Hey. Harder than what you expected to be with the bass and the drum like whoa. Mm. Why do I drift like a faucet cliche, but iconic, you already know. Two. Trust me, that honestly to God, he said it, not me. He said it, not me. Even though that's a cliche. <laughs> I mean that's the first time I've ever to be honest, I've ever that's the first time I ever heard a rapper saying it's cliche, but it's iconic. As, let's face it. Whenever you hear that, it is it is a cliche bar to say, but it's still fire nonetheless. <laughs> what you expected to be with the bass and the drum like whoa. Well, Why do I just like a fast cliche, but I can't like you already, already know. Well, often this be like I own it, like I was the chosen one built in my soul. Mm. I'm sucking waterfalls, TLC, don't want no scrubs ever seeing me. Yo, wait. Mm. I make a splash when I wave here. Hey, so calling back, come back in. Out of my box, I'm leaving it vacant. Mm. Demons out there. Shout out to Nez. Mexico coming out the box. Mm, okay. So I'm breathing this on the bathing out of my box. I'm leaving it vacant. I see demons out there and I'm slaying. Mm, play that do game. anything to be famous. Mm. Never know who really is shady or who would just try to betray, betray me. Mm. Oh, oh, I see my blade. You don't want no problem. I'm a spill your blood. Spill your blood like water. You're stealing. You ain't no problem. Stop it. Ah, she's my blade. You don't want no problem. Spill your blood. Spill your blood like water. It's that damn hook, man. Stop it. That's the memeologist on the visuals. Hey, man. Shout out to my guy, Callum B, man, because. God damn it, Kellen. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure. Look, I'm gonna make sure I come back to you as soon as. I'm gonna make sure I come back to you. I need to make that a mission of my own. Coming back to you. Because, God damn it, nigga. You was the sauce. You was one of the grooviest niggas on Otaku on the world. Like, straight up. Man, make sure y'all go show some love to these three, man. Show some love to them.
but uh, we're on to the next one now hold up we mute this ad for a second because we're not trying to listen to no freaking ad we're not listening to no ad right here but we got another otaku on the world person in the building hold on and it's delta d's tongue-tied jujitsu kaizen amvs so hold up let me make sure i get the hd on that mother sucker and let's go Nice dark sinister tone. If I say I like that outfit, she gon' keep it on. Okay. Mm. She don't felt the throw my pants, then she won't see it all. Okay. Okay, nowadays barely even is my phone. Me mm. and folks are retoning cold. Her mm. few saying I fell off well. I was mm. too busy getting bread all year. Who said that to these fell off? Which one of you niggas hold up? I'm now nah, for a bar like that. I don't need to talk to y'all niggas face to face and such. Which one of you niggas said Delta D's fell off? Hmm? Which one of y'all? Because if any of how I hear that again, I'm going to report it. Nah, shut up. But nah, you, who says what? If you said Delta D's fell off, nah, nigga, you crazy. Delta D's could never fall off. <laughs> Nobody in talk on the world. I mean, for goodness sakes, they're going on tour. They're about to be on tour by the time of this day. Because, hold up. I just saw it up. Well, I can't go right now on my phone, but nah, these niggas are about to go on tour very soon. So trust me. Y'all not finna sleep on Delta D's or the rest of them. That's for shit sure. But let's get back into this, because nah, you can't say Delta fell off. Turn up. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, look, we turn it up now. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh. He turned up on us all of a sudden now. You be laying in your songs because them fans get you hype. That would be the worst thing too. Because trust me, it's basically like this. Do you know how many artists cap in their songs and such? Nine times out of it, because it's basically like this. Maybe I, look, I, I may not know it for a sec, but the one thing though, I ain't going to hype them up just because of the certain things they may say on a song. Because they could say any bar and because it's very funny, it's a random toxic fan. Let me say it like this, because trust me, there are some toxic fans out there. A, a, a toxic random fan would literally, as soon as they hear their favorite artist's bar song and such, everything they may say and such, they hype them up to it. But let's face it. And, that, and sometimes that may go to an artist's head saying, ah, oh, nah, they think they... They know I'm lit, so I gotta get lit for them now. Nah. Nine times out of ten, they be the fans that gonna make you get fucked up. They go, they gonna be the fans that messes you up in a way. So sometimes, watch out for them type of fans. That's all I'm saying. I may not say you're faking, but nine times out of ten, watch out for them fans, cause they the ones that gonna get you in trouble. Hey. 
happens just like all pay on canvas. You drop, treat my budget like a host, the bitch, my waist size. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm telling you, I don't hang on, then I set your waist up. I see you laying in those songs, just the fans got you high. But they don't try to shoot on me, cause I ain't not the type. To lay you naked, ever since I'm more than close to me and my girl, both don't get from Megan. Hey. Delta knows how to fit into a pop. I mean, like I said, and I know I said this again. Certain artists that you know can fit into a hook, but also I want to say this: when it comes to them doing a verses too, they land a verse so perfectly with the delivery. Just the way how that switched up and such. That little switch up that he did, bro, that was smooth as hell. Wait for it. Right here. Hey. Hey. Hmm. Hey, underworld. And also, shout out to that comment who, on one of my other videos about their favorite nerdcore singers and such, I gotta say, I'm surprised that she didn't put Delta, Delta there, because I'm just saying, when Delta gets to singing, you can't tell me he ain't the type of nigga who won't take your girl. Even though he already got a girl, but you gotta remember what he said in Fast Cash. My girl likes her girl, so we're gonna take her home. <laughs> so, hey, if any of his girl likes it, girl likes her, any of his girl likes her, she's gonna take, they both gonna take them, take them home and start doing the duh. So that's all I'm saying. But all I'm saying is for Delta is, I'm surprised y'all don't want to put him as a top tier nerdcore singer. Because he can rap too. He raps too. But with the singing, I'm just saying, he could be in that top list too. Hey, shout out to Delta Beats, man. You already know we rock with you on this channel too, man. So, hey, make sure y'all go run this up for it. But now, we don't got this guy. Who the, I don't know who the hell, by, by whatever the frick his name is. What the frick this person name is. We ain't here for you. We here for my people. We got True Warrior by my guy, Eisen Sen. Pie featuring John. Says a little word I face problems bigger than me, stronger than me. Without direction from my father, life has been much harder. I've been filled with hate and it's caught up to me. Losing sleep, tortured by the memory. One day I hope. And here's another guy. I have to put eyes in it. Bro, I swear, I want to. I know y'all told me, to be honest. I said it before in my other video. I'm going to say it again in this one. Y'all let me know of what your top tier, what your favorite Nerdcore artist is. Give me your list because I know that particular one is going to come up again. That person, Graphic Games. I know you're going to come up again. But for anybody else who sees this video, let me know of your top tier, your top favorite, your, basically your favorite Nerdcore singers. And you got to put it in a list. So from who's the best to your least favorite. That's all I'm saying. Sleep, hey. by the One 
God damn it, Isaac. Nah, y'all get me my feet. Nah, look here. I don't give a flying. Break what y'all gotta say. Man, I don't care what anybody say. Sometimes when it's this, it's always gonna be them singing ones that get me. Yeah, the rap thing gonna get me too, right? But it's always them freaking singing ones that's really gonna get me because nigga that just that is basically like this i don't care at this point i don't care what people saying that oh if you're a singing nigga that means you ain't all that or i know because most people think that certain people think that but nigga you need to tell me that when you hear certain notes like these on any song right Nerdcore, mainstream, whatever. You hear singing like this on any songs, on any type of beats, and it don't get you in a certain type of way. You don't feel any type of way. Because if you don't, something wrong with your ass. I can't even I can't even try to do that part. Ooh, there it is. Hey. Hey. Nigga, oh. y'all. I swear to God, if I'm telling you, we need to have a sing off. Hold on. Y'all gonna hear me. We need to have a nerd core singer off a nerd core sing off between for all the nerd core artists nerd core singers right there what a john eisen mcguire divide delta anybody from nerd core right who's a singer and such right you can in a way the rapping it can come in if you're a rapper too Cool. But we mostly gonna wanna judge you on the singing. Cause nigga, I wanna know. Cause I guarantee you this. Cause I know it's basically like this. I wanna see the same way how show. And look, I know somebody. If hey, somebody clip this right. Or whether it's the Nerco artist or the people who f watches me and such, clip this part right here. We need somebody from the nerdcore community, whether they're a big one or a small one, to host off a nerdcore sing-off for all nerdcore singers. And we need to see who is the best nerdcore singer out there. Because trust me, we because let's face it, we know there's a great people out there who can rap, but, I, but me personally, and probably many other people more too, who are like me, we want to know who is like the best nerdcore singer. We want to know who can really, really give out like that good vocal performance when it comes to being like powerful and such. That's how I want. Hey, I know people not going to see this. I know y'all may not 
care now, but I'm just saying for me, we need somebody to do that in the nerdcore community because I can't do it because I'm gonna be straight. I'm gonna be straight up, straight up with y'all. I'm gonna be biased as hell. So I need to. So somebody from the nerdcore community got to do it. That's all I'm gonna say. But goddamn, somebody, go, somebody better to go tell them. Hell, Eisen, I'm gonna leave it up to you. I'm, if you see this, I know you're gonna see this. But, bro, if you hear this, spread the word, my nigga. We want a nerdcore sing off for all the nerdcore singers out there, like a tournament. That's what, basically, put it like that a nerdcore singer off, a nerdcore singer tournament for all nerdcore singers out there. You can't, you have to enter the too. Ooh. That damn it, y'all know. Yep. I heard that part. But I was just about to say, just when I thought Aizen was gonna win it for me, if anyhow that would go off, then Jano comes in with this, but then I hear Aizen in the background coming in. Like I say, I, I'm sorry, y'all. I will not be able to judge it. I don't, cause I know I'm the one who says I want to see it. But let's face it, if y'all gonna say that you want me to judge it, I'm sorry, I couldn't. Cause I would be, I wouldn't know who to choose. Straight up. Like, there's an in the background. Ooh. I put it all on the line And I never back down from a fight So why do I feel empty inside? Okay, Chris Brown I keep searching till I find The meaning of a warrior And I see that you have the new Profile pic Shout out to you Hey man, like I say like I say, man, whoever is hearing this, we need to see a nerdcore singing tournament for all nerdcore singers out there. If they rap too, it's fine, but we are mostly going to judge them off they sing it. So, hey, I'm just saying, for anybody who out there, Aizen, you included, spread the word, because I want to see somebody do it. But either way, make sure y'all go check out this song, man. True Warrior, and I... If that don't motivate you somehow, then stay unmotivated. I don't know. But either way, we're going to end this off with Black Diamonds with his Zorro rap, oh, look, Trey Pound, for featuring Slick. But here's the, cause here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I can tell that because th this song was like a year old, right? It has, because it has to be. Year and a year and a half old. So I'm gonna say this for right now. I know it's sleepy ash now, but for the sake of this video, I'ma just injure cause for the sake of this video, I'ma just put him as for sleep his old suck his old name. So yeah. But either way, it's still fire. Cause it has to be a year old. He had to been shoot this like a year old or so. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, like I said, so it hasn't been because he said he shot shot this music video while in Austin, Texas. 
for that into for SXSW. So he had because that was probably a year old, right? From last year. So he had to have done that. So yeah. Three pound. Three big sticks walk around like slime with brick. Jumping through portals, Ooh, animal big swing, cutting down mortals, sad. black sword, rain cut deep like Chop mm. a man pension ain't hundred, that's flat. Walk around vinyl this robe like vest. Lay with your bitch, white robe, that's sex. Wanna die first, come through, get blessed. Three big sticks walk round like slime with brick. Jumping through portals, animal big swing, cutting down mortals, black sword, rain cut deep like Chop a man bench and ain't hundred, that's flat. Walk around vinyl this robe like vest. Lay with your bitch, white robe, that's sex. Wanna die first, come through, get blessed. Ain't no mistake now, when they won't play with my brothers and Take down, mm. never in jeopardy. Look who I stay around. I put my swords in alignment and trade pound. Mm. I'm face down, good on my own. I don't need an assist. Me and my brodies is deep in a pit. Never gonna slip if it's three on my head. It ain't no problem with letting it live. Putting yeah. in word like this is my turn. Wavy ass nigga, that's me, get sir. Lazy mm. ass niggas don't get no shine. One of your partners is finna go first. Bounty mm. so high, get under their skin. Feeling too great enough. Bro, that diamond's got that sauce. It looks like this. Him and Delta are like I said Callan is the groovy nigga. It's like the Mr. Groove. Mr. Smooth, I say. But don't get it twisted, right? He's can be saucy too, but I'm just saying. The majority of the time in Otaku Underworld, it'd be Black Diamonds and Delta D's that be like the sauciest niggas in Nerdcore. In not just in Otaku Underworld, but in Nerdcore too. Because it's just the way how they make it come together. Like, damn. Just don't get no shine. One of your partners is finna go first. Bounty so high, get under their skin. Feeling too great and all killing they kids. Come see the play shit. You can bring ten. We feeling with holes three inches like ten. Keep it a buck with me. I need a hundred. Back of the whip with a bitch and we blunted. Built for the shorty who good with the money. It ain't a fit. I can name that was bummy. I sip the sake and leave him deceased. Good for a time now. His life is a lease. Don't see nobody who built to compete. You see the hockey, just know that it's big. Princess on my dick, Luffy. Smile with bitch. Jumping through portals. Big fish, pro bus, totally caught up. Still metal iron on me like Zora. Bomb your gum gums, you would get stressed. Holds one piece of me, I get no rest. Bro, for the ace of his game, forget chess. I find a treasure inside of his chest. Princess on my dick, Luffy. Slime with black, jumping through portals. Big fish. Look, it don't matter if it's slick or sleepy ash. Point is, it's, and it's crazy that still to this day, right? Ever since when Sleepy Ash changed his name from Slick to Sleepy Ash, people are still gonna give him shit about the name change. So what if? Do you know how many artists for the for? Do you know how many artists has changed their name over the years? Because they wanna they want it to be like a higher up in their career. So what? But at the end of the day, whether it's a if they say this, whether it's a name change or whether it's the subject change in their song, either way, they both they still is fire nonetheless. They're always they've always been fire nonetheless. Don't matter if the name change, don't matter if it's the subject that change. Because I mean, think about it. NLE Chopper throughout a. If y'all remember me reacting to NLE Chopper, right? His album Dark to Light. That was mostly. A, not talking about gun and violence and guns like violence and so on so for a short for a little period of time right and he was still going crazy with it but in, unfortunately he had to but then he had to not saying unfortunately but he had to switch back into that old chopper because people wasn't rocking with it like i never get that what's so hard in an artist trying to change up their styles and such because if because if that's the case you wasn't a style, you're not a fan of the artist. You're much more of a fan of what music they're making about. What style of music they're making about. So look, at the end of the day, whether it's slick as this one, whether it was slick, or whether he's sleepy ash right now, at the end of the day, does it freaking matter? No. Because the music is still going to be fire nonetheless. Right, because whether it's whether it's breathing part two where it was on that drill type vibe, right, 
or whether it's sleepy sleepwalking. I've been up all night, bitch. I'm getting my car. What do you mean? Like, nigga, whether it's those, whether it's even though those two are different, at the end of the day, guess what? There's still fire. Simple as that. Sorry for the rain. I'm surprised songs because it's basically like this for all hot topic stories out there. Why you don't got sounds like why you don't got sounds like these playing, man? What you mean? I guarantee you, if songs like this were playing in like hot topic stories everywhere, every mother sucker would be going in there right freaking now. Me included would go in there right now. And honestly, I'm not gonna even try to buy I'm not gonna buy nothing yet. I'm just gonna jam out to the freaking songs just to support these guys. Because god damn it, y'all it's crazy if y'all don't think songs like this don't songs like this is definitely need to be played. Not just around in the nerdcore bubble scene or whatever, but everywhere else. Black sword, rain cut deep like Chop a man, bitch, name, honey, that's flat Walk around, why don't this robe like that? Name with your bitch, white robe, that's sex Wanna die first, come through, get blessed Princess on my dick, Luffy Smile with black, jumping through portals Big fish, pro plus, totally cool But hey, but just to say this though I'm still, he still is But to this name, to the right now In this, in present time He's sleepy ash, but I'm just saying Whether it was I'm just saying whether he's slick or whether he was or whether he's sleepy ash. It don't matter the name change, the music itself is still fire no matter what. So at the end of the day, whatever changes he's doing, as long as it's good for as long as it's good for him and good for the music that he wants to actually put out, mostly good for the music that he wants to put out. Y'all need to respect that. Most of cause I guarantee you, some of y'all fans out there were like, what the, f why he changed his name? Mother sucker. Does it matter if he changed his name? The music's still lit anyway, right? You still, you still listen to the music, right? Still fire, right? So what the freak does the name got to do with anything? That's all I'm going to say. Me, I get no rest. Roll for the ace of his gates to get chest. I find a treasure inside of his chest. Hey, shout out to Otaku Underworld, man. Hey, man. Shout out to Otaku Underworld, man. They did their thing, bro. Shout out to everybody who was on this list, man. Make sure y'all go check them out and such. And hey, like I said, if somebody can be able to put put the word out or so to do like a nerdcore sing off between for all nerdcore artists to come in or nerdcore singer and such to come in, do they thing and see who's like the best nerdcore singer just off of their vocal presence. Somebody needs to host that. Not me, because I'm not, I'm gonna be biased as a motherfucker. And I'm not even gonna be able to judge that. But either way, hopefully y'all enjoy this reaction, man. Sorry for little rants here and there, cause trust me, you know I had to not only I have to make the video seem spicy, but sometimes there's gonna be takes where I need to talk much and such. 
but hopefully i hope you watch all the way through and such make sure you leave a like on the video comment down below what you thought about this and such and subscribe to the mother loving channel subscribe 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 sorry that's I, I sound desperate but now nah, for real make sure y'all subscribe to the channel man make sure to go check out my other reactions right here and such follow me on all my socials up there and it's been a boy homo ziggy signing out stay positive and keep the vibes up let go <laughs>